Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenka and today I'm going to do a whip and tag. Well, that means um, I've been tagged by the beautiful, lovely Natalia to answer some diamond painting questions. Natalia from Crafting with Natalia. So uh, this is what I will be doing in this whip and chat. So if you want to listen, take out whatever you are working on and work along with me. Whip stands for work in progress. You don't have to craft. You can do anything you want. You may even fall asleep to my voice. That's okay. Also, we are all human. So um, I'm working currently. I'm working on always by Sarah Richter and this is the canvas that I'm doing for Drills and Chills 2021. So far I'm absolutely in love with the rendering. The rendering is great. I was a bit concerned because the colors are really muted but it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm a happy customer. The only downside about this canvas, uh, the training wheels or the guide circles, if you want, they're driving me up the walls. <sighs> because I'm a multiplayer, I turn to multiplayer, and when you multiplayer, it's hard to get the circles aligned with the 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 line of the the guide circle, if you want. So that stresses me out a bit because of the fact that they shine through the the drills that I put down. So you can see some of the guidelines shining through and yeah, that's a bit bothersome. But other than that, I'm really enjoying working on this um, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, when you can multi-place, but you can also do some confetti. It's it's a healthy mix of both. So, so far, I'm really pleased with this one. Of course, I will do a review once this is done. I hope I get it done in time, because I've got two more weeks and then the Drills and Chills event comes to a halt, I believe. So we will see if we get there and if we don't. Yeah. No, no biggie. Uh, then I've got a beautiful diamond painting finish for a review. So, um, what else before we get started? I think that's it. I'm sorry my brain is all over the place and I'm drinking coffee right now, but it's decaf. Because uh, if I drink um, caffeinated drinks in the afternoon, then I'm... Yeah, we say uh, hanging on the plafond, that means we hang on the ceiling, that means like, yeah, there's nothing. Um, oh, see, my, my English is just going out the window like, nope, not today, not today, Jose. So, uh, never mind, I will be filling in some black right now because um, that way I don't have to change my trays too often in this video. Um, ah yeah, that's what I wanted to say. See, I knew I was forgetting something. If the sound is here and there not okay, I'm very sorry about that, but, but I have my headphones, but I lent them to my boy who is playing Fortnite with his friends so he can um, play and talk. So yeah, that's why... Uh, my sound may be off sometimes. Don't worry, it's okay. My GSM is... That? Actually, my cell phone is, is a really good one. I'm really happy with the quality. <laughs> that completely aside, let's get started and let's get into this. Um, after I answer the questions, I will tell you who I'm tagging to answer the questions after me. So, that you know in the end of the video. Um, okay, without further ado, because I'm, I'm babbling, what am I doing with my life right now? The first question is, favorite completed diamond painting? These questions are hardcore, really hardcore, because 
you have to think about them and and it's difficult to give uh, like one straight answer but i will try anyway favorite completed diamond painting first place i think would go to bohemia uh, bohemia is by medusa the doll maker and it's sold at diara moon shop or die moon shop however you want to pronounce it it is um i can show you because she's on the wall wait e i hope so that's bohemia and it's um more like uh art deco art nouveau style that i like so much of mucha so that's the one that I absolutely adore. She's hanging there, reminding me to be a bit of gypsy now and then, every day. Hi, gypsy. Huh. I think she was, she thinks I was talking about her. Do you want to, wait, I, I'm gonna let the cat out. Mm. Just a second. So, yeah, uh, then um, further on the list are two diamond paintings that I completed um, by Diamond Dots. That was Woman in Gold by Klimt and The Kiss by Klimt. I absolutely loved to work on them. Uh, it was really a treat to work on them. The result is awesome. Especially the woman in gold. She was so freaking shiny that I would be blinded every time the sun was shining on her. So yeah, but I cannot show you them because they're um, hanging on other walls. So I gave the kiss to my auntie and I gave the woman in gold to one of my besties. So yeah, no, cannot show you, but if you want to work on a beautiful painting and enjoy, well, check them out, they're really awesome. Then um, there's one other that I was so fond of when it, it was done. The process itself was a bit hard because it was a square and a huge one. I can't remember the size, but it was huge. Uh, trust me. Uh, it was my first really big diamond painting I did. And I ordered it at AliExpress. And it's actually, I believe it's a stock photo. But that was back in the time I wasn't really um, in the know about um, artists. Uh, about copyright and everything and and paying the artist and everything so I just bought what I thought was beautiful and that's one of um, all these types of I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean but these types of paper umbrellas with all the the beautiful designs on it like dragons and and cranes and 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 cherry blossoms and whatever and geishas even so yeah that was a really fun one to work on because of the 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 differences um so you could work on one umbrella and then for another umbrella you would have to use all types of different colors so that was really fun to work on it's actually now rolled up in my cupboard because i have to do some restoration on that one because i lost some drills already and i want to restore it seal it and then hang it up again i don't know where because i really yeah i might find a spot for it now that i mention it Hmm. Hmm. See, talking to you guys just gives me ideas. It's it's really wonderful. Thank you for <laughs> listening. So yeah, that's one that I absolutely adore. Uh, I didn't do a, a review on it, I believe, or I never really mentioned it. I don't know. I should go back to the old videos. Um, because, yeah, I didn't know if it was stolen or not. 
But when it hangs up in my house, I will show you anyway. So, um, second question. The diamond painting that you can't wait to start. Well, to be honest, the diamond painting that I can't wait to start is one that I haven't received yet. It's a custom um, from Dreamer Designs, but I love the art piece. It's an old master and I love the art piece so, so, so freaking much that I'm very sorry for those who wanted to see other uh, types of paintings, but that's one that I will be doing after I am brave for the diamond painted forwards. Yeah, yeah, but th I'm gonna talk about that after this, but wait. Um, so that's the one that I can't wait to start. If it's of, if the rendering is to my liking, of course, because I don't know yet, because I haven't received it yet. But it will come one of these days, one of these days, it will come, it will come. And then I will do the unboxing and I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm impatiently waiting for that one. You will love it, guys. You will love it. I'm sure, I'm sure. So, uh, that's the second question. And don't worry, I will put the questions down in the description for the people that I tag, tag afterwards. So... Hey, third question. My favorite DP artist? Question mark, question mark. Hmm, and that's a really, really tricky question. Because I do love many artists. And I love some paintings of the artist, but not always all of them. It's, it's just personal taste, so, but one that I really adore is Medusa the Dollmaker. I like the type of um, art that she makes because it it's reminds me of this Art Deco, Art Nouveau style. Then I like Sarah Richter because of the gothic feel of her work. I like... Um, Uh, Jerem Jeremiah Morali, is that the name? Not all the works, but most of the works. You see, it's it's not. Um, yeah, those are the recent artists, and and I'm sure I, I forget to mention lots of them because every artist has got a style, a different style. Like, oh yeah, Jojo's art, for example. I love. Jojo's art as well, but I'm preferring some of his work to other diamond. It's it's normal. You, I think you can love an artist, but you cannot love all the work the artist does, not all the time anyway. But uh, there are so many more. I think Sandra Trubin from um, Dreamer Designs. Because I made one of that and, and that's really beautiful because of all the colors. I'm sorry if I don't mention all the artists, but it's really difficult. That's a really tricky question because I like... I'm more uh, like... If a, a diamond painting speaks to me, I will love it and, and I'm really, really grateful to the artist that made the piece, but... It's, it's difficult to say, like, yeah, I like this one and this one more than the... I don't know. But anyway, um, of course, those are the recent artists. But I'm really in love with old masters and um, especially uh, the symbolists, the pre raf How is it called? The Raphael Raphaelists? I don't know how you say it in, in English. pre -raph raphaelite <laughs> I'm, I'm messing this up so much. I should look for it. I should look for it. Uh, I'm gonna look for it because I'm making a fool of myself right now. I'm, I'm used to making a fool of myself. Don't, don't worry. 
Uh, and my computer is so slow. I think my computer is about to die. That would be a disaster. I can still upload videos with my um, my phone, but ah, uh, why are you doing this to? Me? Oh my god! And now I opened like ninety new <sighs> new tabs. Yeah. Anyway, new tab. Okay. Wait. Can you hear me? Okay. Pre Rafa Raphaelite. Correctly. But that's the artwork. Pre Raphaelism. Pre Raphaelite. Raphaelite. That's the style that I like. And of course, um, the Art Nouveau, the Art Deco. Um, sometimes I, yeah, like Vincent van Gogh, of course, I like his style. Uh, so, yeah, old paintings. So, artists that are long gone but leave a legacy, and yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh my, mon dieu, mon dieu, mon dieu, mon dieu. Uh, next question. What DP diamond painting, DP event do I look forward the most? And I'm not diamond painting, I'm sorry. Um, well, one that I look forward to, of course, is diamond painting it forward. That's organized by Lizette at Lizette Crafts and Tells. And uh, I'm sorry, my my stomach is is like no. Um, because I like the message behind it, and I like the fact that many people all over the world will participate. So yeah, that's one that I look forward to, because I want to see if some people of some channels will do whip and chat about it, and um. Yeah, it will be fun to see, and and yeah, and and because I I really want to do that painting for my friend, um, who's got young ons onset Parkinson's, and I want to spread some awareness for that disease. And maybe when my channel grows, I like to do some fundraisers for the research, um. For the research of Parkinson's disease because here in Belgium we are all really like um, doing fundraisers for uh, cancer movements and everything but there's not much going on for Parkinson's so and uh, Parkinson's is till this day it's incurable it's it's delayable but it's incurable so uh yeah so that's one that i'm looking forward to doing but i'm also looking forward of course uh summer with the masters 2022 but yeah that's another year from now so let's not go there but um I heard Miss Coffee say in one of her videos that she wants to do the sassy, the sassy DP along again. So where people are working on um, on sassy diamond paintings, saucy and sassy, and uh, then she she makes like this diamond painting parade and where you can see all the diamond paintings that people are working on and it. It just gave me some good laughs, that one. Yeah, I loved, I loved it. And now that I'm getting used to using Instagram a little more, so I hope um, she will organize that one again, because, yeah, it was really fun. Um, then, and I don't know other events. I should go over to another channel that I got to know, something with fairies, and she's doing... Uh, an event with the witches about witches but then again um, then I would have to start 
yet another diamond painting, so I believe that's one that I will do uh, next year, if she does it again. And then there's, um, of course, the Winter Wonderland diamond painting event. And I should... Uh, wait, I will tell you, because I don't know it by heart. Uh, where is the channel name? Because I tend to forget. I know I watch the channel, but I tend to forget. Uh, Life with Lindsay. That's it. So Lindsay will be doing the Winter Wonderland, I suppose. So I've got some Alice paintings. And for that one, I won't. I would want to do the one that I uh, unboxed recently with uh, the empowering message of the Alice in Wonderland who's tattooing herself. So, um, yeah, if that's going on, then I might do that one, but I will have to see where I come uh, with my custom because that will be a big one also. So, yeah. And this leaves us with the next question, with the last question, the final question, which I actually answered by giving you the previous answer, DP Diamond Painting Goals. Well, <laughs> um, that's also a tricky question. Of course, I want to work on as many old masters as I can. That's one of my goals. And I want to be buying more customs. If if my my experience with this one is a good one, I might do that more and more. Uh, that's one goal. And then another goal is, um, as I said, a fundraiser for the Parkinson's Liga. And then... Uh, other goals I don't know just keep being happy with my channel and what I'm doing and and yeah hoping to spread some happiness and joy that's <laughs> and yeah be able to talk to like-minded people that's that's maybe the most important goal of all like that's why I started this channel anyway. So, yeah, that's uh, the last question. So, hmm, now it's your turn. Ha 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 ha. So, um, I'm gonna tag three people. And um, if you're not comfortable answering these questions or if you don't want to do it, it's fine by me. No hard feelings at all. No hard feelings. Um, so, three people. First off, I want to tag Rachel at Ditsy Diamond Painting. I love your accent, Rachel. So, <laughs> I just want to hear you talk about your favorite diamond paintings um, and answer the questions. Um, oh, yeah. And, and congratulations on that last diamond painting you did it's it's absolutely gorgeous and i know with popping drills it's really hard so but you did a good job and yeah i hope you seal it because i think you might lose some drills otherwise so but yeah rachel um there you go then the other one that i want to tag is amber at hobbies with tigger um she recently did an unboxing of a beautiful painting and she's got her own channel so hobbies with tigger she's really a sweet person uh, and i love the name of the channel so uh yeah amber <laughs> answer the questions i will put them in the description so you can uh, read them uh, uh at ease so and and then third person that i want to uh, tag is Melissa over at Nana of Seven Crafts. 
so um i i'm behind on videos nana uh, nana <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm i'm behind on on videos melissa but i'm i'm um yeah i'm trying to keep up so um if you want to answer the questions please do so i would like to hear what you have to say about it i would like to know your um opinions on diamond paintings and everything so yeah those are the three people that i uh tag with this one and i'm not diamond painting oh my god yeah sorry sorry it's it's yeah i'm i'm all over the place and i wanted tommy to sing a little bit but he's not singing you will see, once I, I stop this video, he will start to sing and I will be like, Oh no, why didn't you sing while I was filming? Because it's, it's really, oh, it's so cute. He's playing with the chords. I hang, I, I did hang some, some type of strings in the cage and he's like nibbling at them. It's really cute. I'm, I'm trying to get him to sing, but he's playing now, so... What are you doing, cutie pie? Look, I will try to show him to you. Ooh. So sorry, my video stopped. I was going to show you the bird and then I pushed... Uh, I pushed uh, I pushed stop. I still have to get the bigger cage though, but that will be a thing that I will do in October, for uh, the beginning of October, so, but he's playing with the strings as you can see. Hey! Tommy! There's Pikachu. She's always looking at me like, what's up girl? If you whistle yourself, sometimes he will start whistling, but... Hello! How are you? <whistles> he makes so much mess of his cage. Oh my god. Eeh. Sorry, I have to... So yeah, there is it. There it is. Um, the answering of the questions. I'm really thinking about do... Yeah, maybe that's one of the DP goals I would have also. I would want to do my own event, but I don't want to do it alone. And I want to find something that's really dear to me. And I don't know. It's... Um, there are so many events going on that I don't know if if it's it's not time yet. It's it's not the time yet. But I will do that one day for sure, for sure, for sure. Um and rest of I don't have lots to talk about because I'm still waiting for some diamond paintings. Ah oh, yeah, I'm trying to work with this this but it's too wide for me. I would rather have a thin one, but I don't know where to get them. If ever, if anyone one watching watching this would can tell me where to find the thin uh, steel placers, that would be great. But this is really, and I don't know if if there is something, if there is a type of thin placer that exists. But this one is, it's not too easy to work with, like. For instance, this is a six placer and I've got to place four uh, drills now. Wait, I will show you. I will zoom in a little bit. Then you can see what I mean. Oops. There. So I'm going to fill in those four. And this is a six placer. So I push it down. Oh, and it works. <laughs> Normally, sometimes it's, it's really difficult to place them. Like here is a, a drill. And, and then it's difficult to place them. You really have to anchor your your diamond painting pen or it's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's not... The... 
easiest tool I have worked with, but maybe I, I will get used to it. And I will take a sip of my coffee right now because I forgot and it's gonna be cold. Ow. Uh. Oh my god, he's really going at that thing. And and it's a meal because normally that's type of um things that a female would do, but he's male because you heard him singing, right? But uh, maybe he wants to impress Pikachu and make a nest. <laughs> it's so cute. That's so cute. Are you playing, my boy? Yeah, should see it. I know. Wait. He doesn't. Yeah. His toy. Don't jump away. I just want to show the people how sweet it is watching you play. That's a good thing. That's to avoid them to be bored. Those they've got those things and he loves his swings that I have there, so yeah. Hey Tommy, you love your swings. Yeah, so they're okay, they're doing great. And now I'm gonna finish up my coffee and diamond paint some more. And I hope to see you soon in the next video, if there's something interesting happening or if there's something coming to my house, I will surely make a video about it. So until that time, I hope you uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't. If you have, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for the watch time. Hope you will give me a thumbs up on your way out and as always hit the bell to be notified anytime i put up another video meanwhile hope you have a wonderful beautiful marvelous day and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching guys bye